aliens have been interacting with humans for a long time, guys. So let's talk about it and go over some of the evidence. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, yeah, check this out, guys. And when I say aliens, uh, you know, who knows what they are, right? Other dimensionals, crypto terrestrials, hybrids. Uh, time travelers, we don't know what they are, but they don't seem to be quite like us. Uh, here's, here's one example. Creepy figures with huge heads found painted in a rock shelter in Tanzania. In 2018, archaeologists made a staggering discovery in Swaga Swaga Game Reserve in central Tanzania. 52 previously undocumented rock shelters deliberately painted with rock art. Weathering had mostly destroyed all but a handful, but of those that were preserved, one was an absolute enigma. The site named Amaki 4 was elaborately painted with a frieze of figurative art, including three mysterious anthropomorphic figures with extremely oversized heads. These could be, according to archaeologist uh, Masek, Oh, man, I'm, I'm not going to be able to say that word. If you can say that word, let me know. Gr grizzle. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say. Okay. These could be, according to this archaeologist in Poland, a clue to figuring out what other similar trios of figures found in other rock art panels might be. Uh, the Amici uh, 4 panel is difficult to date. Uh, but the archaeologist was able to gauge that it's at least a few hundred years old. It's painted almost entirely in red pigment, ex except for five figures in white. The weathering on this pigment and the absence of domestic animals suggests that it's fairly old, dating back to the time of hunter-gatherer societies in the region. Uh, depicted on the panel are animals that appear to resemble the wildebeest, elands, uh, buffalo, and even a giraffe as well as a smattering of human-like figures with large heads. But one group stands out. Particularly noteworthy among the Amaki four paintings is a scene that centers around three images. In this trio, the figures seem to feature stylized buffalo heads. These shapes recall the central dip in the profile of the buffalo head from where the two horns rise and then curve outward away from the head, as well as the downward ears. Okay, so that's that's the theory, right? Uh, these are depicting uh, buffalo-headed beings. That is the mainstream scientific explanation for what these drawings are meant to represent. Does that look like a buffalo-headed figure to you? And you can even see what looks like a little fly zipping around as if to emphasize the insectile nature of what that being might be. Look at all of these other fly-headed or insectile-looking beings. Uh, you know, that's not showing uh, what, in my mind, looks like a buffalo head or a headdress. Uh, so, you know, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But uh, uh, that is just one of many examples that we're going to go over of uh, very likely depictions uh, by ancient people of non-human so let's go check out a few more look at that guy that's definitely not a buffalo head and you look at that long retractable neck oh and some of these were sent to me by uh, christopher noel and uh others were sent to be sent to me by nicholas uh, so uh, thank you guys. I really appreciate uh, your help in my research and I'm sure all, all the viewers appreciate that as well. So everybody say thank you to Christopher and Nicholas in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, check out uh, this retractable looking neck, right? Now, some of the theories about the Nazca mummies are that they had retractable necks. And we don't know if this is retractable or not, but it's certainly an intriguing uh, neck, right? And if skull binding was an attempt to emulate elongated skull beings, you know, if, if they did have long necks, it makes you wonder if the neck elongated, uh, elongating practices were meant to emulate something like that. Just a thought, just throwing that out there. Uh, but yeah, here we get more beings uh, here with the three uh, fingers and three toes. 
And this is from the Anzaga Borrego Desert in California. So, yeah, all over the world from, you know, California to uh, here's one in Utah where you get this crazy uh, gray, gray, I mean, or whatever it is. Is that an ant person? Is that one of the ant people of Hopi legends uh, that we've also seen depicted in uh, South America? So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. Look, look at all these alien beings, uh, you know, um, de de depicted and uh, the works of ancient people. This is another one from uh, California in the Casso Range. And they have uh, all sorts of different uh, uh, features. I mean, maybe that's just an abstract human. Maybe that's just, you know, uh, you know, maybe that's not depicting a non-human, but just abstract fantasy art or uh, mythological uh, art. But they, they sure are odd looking, aren't they? Um, you know, I, I, I let me know if you think this is just, uh, you know, an artist being fanciful or if this is depicting, uh, something else, something else. And here we go. Look at that guy. What is going on with that thing? Is that, is that supposed to be a human? Is that a, a fanciful interpretation of a humanoid? I don't know. Look at that fella. Um, yeah, three fingers and three toes. Very interesting. Oh, and look at that face. Look at that face. Um, and what are these things on the side of his head? But that, that head shape and those eyes and that mouth, that, I mean, that really looks like a gray or a something. Some, some non-human. And, and that was from Central India, by the way. Uh, yeah, uh, 10,000 years old. 10,000 years old from Central India. Crazy. Uh, so here we go. This is from the Dinwoody site. Uh, and this is, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is supposed to represent, but that is certainly an interesting figure with three fingers and three toes. And of course, the reason I keep on harping on the three fingers and three toes is those are, you know, the tridactyl mummies, right? With the three fingers and the three toes. Although of course we have seen, there is one similar type being, uh, in Mexico, they had four fingers and four toes. So <clears throat> let me know what you think this is meant to represent. Uh, might be noteworthy that it's wearing what might be a headdress. And, you know, we've seen that in other places as well. For example, this guy right here, right? Uh, the Gate of the Sun. And uh, I think I've shared that with you before, but I can't remember offhand. Uh, but, you know, a, a fascinating, fascinating site. And we can go to the Wikipedia. The Gate of the Sun, also known as the Gateway of the Sun, is a monolith carved in the form of an arch or gateway at the site of uh, Tia, Tijuanaco by the Tijuanaco culture, an Andean civilization of Bolivia that thrived around Lake Titicaca in the Andes of Western South America between 500 to 950 AD. So, you know, more recent, if, if this is depicting a uh, non-human being, uh, you know, like the Nazca mummies that are wearing the headdresses, or I think that we may only have one of those, um, but shockingly similar, right? So, um, you know, were they around merely a thousand years ago? If so, are they still around, right? So anyway, fascinating stuff. But let's continue with uh, uh, the slideshow here. We got the uh, eye idols of ancient Syria. What? What is going on with the eye idols of ancient Syria? Uh, again, is that just abstract art? Because here we got the four eyes in a row. Maybe they just like drawing eyes. Entirely possible. Entirely possible. You can, you know, not everything has to be alien, right? Um, that, that's really fanciful. I have no clue what that is. That's in indigenous Australia. Possible representation of a breastplate implant. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, then that's uh, per Christopher Noel's research. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his, you know, a possible idea. Uh, we've seen the, um, you know, the breastplates, the implants, and the Nazca beings, right? So is that what we're looking at here? Uh, possibly a representation of that? Because we've also seen that 
in other places, uh, uh, possibly depicted in some of the art uh, in the North American Native Americans. Uh, fascinating, fascinating. So uh, yeah, check that out. And we've got four fingers on that guy. Um, you know, could be, and that's in Utah, five-fingered beings together. Okay, uh, is that five? I can't count, all right. And uh, yeah, so yeah, okay, no, it says three and four and five uh, fingered thing, beings all together. So that's, that's what Christopher is saying here, um, is that we have uh, beings with different uh, numbers of digits all hanging out together. And we know there were beings with different numbers of digits. There were, you know, like I just said, the tridactyls of uh, Nazca and probably around the world. And at least, uh, you know, one race of being with four fingers found in Mexico. So did they all hang out together? Were they all part of one big collective or, you know, consortium of races or uh, you know, you know, are we looking at the, the Galactic Federation where they all uh, come together and uh, hanging out together? What what are we looking th at there? I don't know, but it's fascinating. Uh, and here's another being, uh, another possible ant being or insectile being. And again, we're seeing the things on the sides of their faces and, and this one and that other one. Very interesting. And this is from Spain, interestingly. And I want to say that it has three toes. It's possible that could be four. Um, it looks like it's got three fingers. And are those, you know, if we're, if we're thinking of bugs, it's interesting that it has those uh, uh, features coming out of its uh, head. If it's a more of an insectile, uh, ant-like person. So there we go. That, that is the end of that particular slideshow. But now we go to um, uh, these interesting beings. And uh, th this was sent to me by Nicholas. Um, and look at these crazy, weird-headed beings here. Check this out. What is going on with these guys? Here's in Niger. Uh, here's in Saudi Arabia, in India, Egypt. Uh, Turkey, Russia, uh, again, this is at Gobekli Tepe, Spain, and Utah. Uh, you see this very interesting feature here. Is that a headdress like we were just seeing with the, the gate of the sun? Or is this a being with a strange head? Is this, is this depicting, uh, you know, all over the world, all over the world, uh, from Utah to Turkey to India, uh, you know, a, a global phenomenon seeming to depict the same sort of being. Um, and it's interesting to note that they seem to have more than three fingers. Uh, they may have five. And it's consistent uh, in each depiction that they have more, more than three fingers. So, um, you know, uh, it's, it is fascinating to see the consistencies of those uh, beings, rep, you know, re represented and how they're represented around the world. I, I haven't, you know, I don't know what to make of this particular uh, uh, type of being with this very interesting head. Uh, on this one, you can see facial features. I don't know, I don't know how to zoom in on Twitter, but uh, check that out. It's got two eyes and a nose. And that one, you can also see possibly facial features, indicating that this was not a headdress necessarily, but actually a, uh, a head. So I don't know what to make of all this, guys, but I think the evidence is pretty clear that there was, in this case, a global phenomenon uh, of people interacting with something that resembled this. So let me, well, if you have any insight on what that could be, let me know. Meanwhile, check out all these figures uh, from Japan to Puerto Rico to uh, uh, Canada to Russia, to Sri Lanka, Siberia, all over the place, depicting these crazy beings with three fingers. Check it out. Three fingers, three fingers. Uh, they've all got three fingers and they are all weird looking. Well, some of them could pass for human, like the, the one in Arizona. 
it's got a weird flat head. Um, but yeah, three fingered beings seen all over the world. And that one's got wings, which is really intriguing. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, and, and that one's got a weird head. That one also potentially has a very weird head and another weird head, kind of uh, similar to the ones we just looked at. Uh, another another weird head. So, but yeah, I, I'm I'm convinced personally that the, some of the ancient peoples around the world were interacting. Uh, with exotic beings. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. You don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Discord links below. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in an even bigger way, consider buying a coffee mug or a t-shirt in the merch store below. Or you can become a channel member. Channel members are rock stars. And I really appreciate you guys' support. Thank you. Meanwhile, there are plenty of other videos to, uh, on the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road, signing out.